Vice Chancellor, on behalf of the student body, it is our greatest honor and privilege to present our honorary graduate and friend, former academic registrar, Dr. Wayne Campbell. If you'll allow, we'll start the speech with one of our favorites and much recited quotes over the years of Wayne's, a glass of Merlot, please. <laughs> This phrase could surprise, would surprise no one, were not uttered in a booming, confident voice across the courtyard bars, shocking all student patrons unused to hearing such a sophisticated order instead of the usual flows of lager and spirits. Merlot. <laughs> the order is instead received with a smile and cheers. The bottle of Merlot already prepared for a good friend of the union. This quote encaps encapsulates the essence of Wayne, or Waza, as he is known <laughs> affectionately within student circles, good-natured with a touch of ele elegance. Wayne started his academic journey by obtaining a degree in biochemistry at the University of Kent, followed by two master's degrees from the universities of Cambridge and Loughborough, and a doctorate in biotechnology from Kent, because they couldn't get enough of him. However, Wayne intentionally made a move away from research into higher education and worked his way up to becoming academic registrar at the University of Essex and then the University of Lincoln, becoming the first academic registrar, black academic registrar in the UK, before returning to Kent as director of student services and senior master, again, because they couldn't get enough of him. He joined the University of York in 2019 and stands out as one of the most talented academic registrars in the country. He also served as a fellow of the Association of University Administrators and chair of the Office for the Independent Educators Higher Education Advisory Panel from 2013 to 2016. Wayne has shown excellence throughout his professional life, but it is his time, impact, and outstanding services to the student body um, and the community at York we would like to commemorate. Wayne's stated role was to be responsible for all touch points on the student journey from their registration to graduation and beyond. An already daunting task, Wayne is, re re sorry, Wayne in reality did, one, did much more than this, I can't speak today, <laughs> <laughs> is our firm belief that all students owe their graduation today in part from the university um, because of Wade's work. Wayne does not provide touch points, he provides care to all of his students. This was particularly true throughout the pandemic when Wayne was at the forefront of the university's ambitious COVID response, and even more so throughout the current economic crisis. More recently, it was on the BBC that Wayne announced the university's six million pound cost of living response in October 2022, the first in the country. By February 2023, Wayne had secured a further one million pound in aid to students, a package for which we were shortlisted for University of the Year at the Times Higher Education Awards. Whilst the government continued to fall short for cost of living support for students, closer to home, Wayne continued to push us all to deliver what is best for students, staff and the local community. Helping with the delivery of free food initiatives on campus, our period poverty scheme and a rent support fund, to name but a few examples. Not many academic registrars can say that they have committed anywhere near as much as Wayne has to ensure that every student can and will achieve. With his dedication to the success of students extending beyond the confines of his job description into his leadership and personal character. Wayne is undoubtedly a champion for equality, diversity and inclusion and takes a huge amount of pride in celebrating the achievements of our students and staff. Wayne often dedicates his time to mentoring black students through university or to supporting campaigns that celebrate what make each and every one of us unique. His recent recognition for his lifetime leadership at the Inclusive Impact Awards is a true testament to Wayne's determination to drive the inclusivity agenda of York forward. Wayne retired from his position as academic registrar in York in December 2023 to enjoy well-deserved time with his dear wife and family and to pursue his interest in writing. Wayne is leaving a huge gap at York that will be very difficult for us to fill. And I think I can speak on behalf of the whole university community in expressing my deepest gratitude to Wayne for his fierce loyalty, generosity and kindness that he shows every single person and for his tireless and unrelenting service to the University of York. 
It is an honour for us to be able to present Wayne with this most esteemed accolade to recognise the legacy that he has left on this institution. Vice-Chancellor, for his remarkable service to the students, staff and local community of the University of York, it is with great pleasure that we present to you, on behalf of the student body, Dr Wayne Campbell for the award of Doctor of the University Honoris Causa. the power vested in me by the University of York, I have the greatest of pleasure in conferring upon you the degree of Doctor of the University, Honoris Causa. I wish I could say that was a surprise, but uh, <laughs> uh, thank you, Vice Chancellor and Chancellor, and I acknowledge the presence of our graduands and graduates, and also university staff and guests. And thank you to Pyrrhic and Hannah for your kind and generous words. I could barely recognise myself in that oration. I have attended hundreds of graduation ceremonies over the years, but this is the first time I've personally attended one for which I am the recipient of an award, and I consider it a great honour to be nominated by our elected student representatives. I am proud to be listed amongst you and my youngest daughter as a York graduate and alumni. I am unapologetically passionate about, oh, thank you. <laughs> about student support and the student experience. I feel for this generation of students who have endured under the most challenging of circumstances a worldwide pandemic, industrial action and the ongoing cost of living crisis. You, your parents and loved ones should be very proud of what you have achieved. You have endured a lot, but you have triumphed. Congratulations, class of 2024. <laughs> Credit for this honour also goes to those who worked with me tirelessly to achieve our joint successes. Most importantly, our student partners and the numerous sabbatical officers that have worked with me over the years, some of whom are here today. And I would include Ben Vigliami, sitting down next to the Vice-Chancellor's wife, and our colleagues from GSA. These representatives have partnered with me and other university staff to support you during these difficult times. I would also like to publicly thank the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Charlie Jeffrey, for his steadfast support. I am reminded that I could not have delivered what I have done without his support throughout these years. Thank you, Vice-Chancellor. Thanks too to my professional service colleagues, particularly members of my directorate, management team and staff in student and academic services, and also my fellow HOPS members, for helping me so much over the last several years. Many of them are officiating at the event today and during this week. They are committed professionals. They really care 
about the student and academic experience. And I'd like to invite them to stand up. Please stand up. It's a command. Not a request. <laughs> stand up, sabbatical officers as well. Stand up. So that means the sabbatical officers and the student representatives sat there in front of you. Stand up. Give them a round of applause. They got there in the end. <laughs> the world is in turmoil at the moment, and the future, in many respects, seems very uncertain. The world needs you to ensure its future. You are graduating at a time when you can make a real difference in your chosen career. My advice to you is take on board three things and they don't involve wine. <laughs> don't lose your passion. Passion is key. As a noted filmmaker said, follow your passion. The rest will attend to itself. If I can do it, anybody can do it. It's possible, and it's your turn. So go for it. It's never too late to become what you always wanted to be in the first place. You have heard me thank a plethora of colleagues for working with me over the years, and life has taught me that collaboration and teamwork are key. Rarely can you achieve in life your objectives, be they work or otherwise, on your own. You will not always get it right, and you cannot please everyone such is life, but working in partnership and collaboration with others is key to achieving success, and your elected student representatives have been key to my success. They have been pivotal to our university being nominated twice in the last three years by the Times Higher Education as University of the Year. Finally, Never lose your sense of humour. <laughs> when things go wrong, and they will do, put things continually into perspective and learn to laugh at life. Remember the words of Rufus Wainwright. There's no life without humour. It can make the wonderful moments of life truly glorious and it can make tragic moments bearable. Of course, it needs to be used in the right context and time. And please, don't ever lose that sense of humour or passion. My view is it will take you a long way in life. May God be with you, now and always. Make York proud. Make a difference. As a former member of staff and now York, York alumni, I'm very proud of you and what you have achieved and will achieve. In, my, in the words of the great space explorer of the 1960s, Mr. Spock, <laughs> live long and prosper. I'm, I'm going to abuse my position uh, to add a few more words about our new honorary graduate, uh, Wayne Campbell, uh, with whom I, I worked closely over the last few years. Now, Wayne is a man of great sociability. A glass of Merlot, please. Now, that led to possibly the longest series of leaving events known to this university. 
And at those, uh, he heard me talk about him several times, many times, uh, as a brilliant, effective, compassionate, creative university leader, a passionate advocate for students, about which we just heard, and an outstanding role model, especially for our black students. <laughs> and I should also say, as a dear friend. Uh, but rather than repeat the tributes I gave them, because Wayne is probably quite bored of hearing them, given there were so many leaving events, <laughs> I'd like to give voice to another of our students, uh, following the delightful appreciation given just about now by Pierrick and uh, Hannah. So let me draw on the words of Phoebe Durajay. I quote, I think what I'm about to say is an understatement of your incredible service to the University of York and beyond. But regardless, I thought, let me give it a go. Firstly, I would like to say thank you for your consistency and your commitment to us students. Thank you not just for supporting me from a distance, but also showing up. Now, I should interject here that Phoebe helped organise a series of events called Middle Ground, uh, where students came together to debate and try and find shared ground around difficult issues. So Phoebe goes on. It's only right I start at the beginning with the Middle Ground series, which you not only attended, but also gave one of your short, sweet and humorous speeches. You listened and stayed for the whole event. I was a student planning her first event at the university something now known as a success, something I'm extremely proud of. And knowing that a member of senior leadership not only participated but encouraged the need for opportunities like this for both staff and students to engage with one another was the icing on top of the cake. You set such a great example for all, from senior leaders to students, to support new visions, be passionate about seeing students succeed, not just in the lecture theatre, but beyond. As a young black woman, seeing someone who looks like me in such a high position in leadership is incredibly inspiring and speaks volumes about the place I know I can be one day. Without a doubt in my mind, you'll be truly missed, but your long-lasting legacy and the fact that you are the ultimate B-N-O-C, <laughs> student language for big name on campus, <laughs> the fact you are the ultimate B-N-O-C means you will reign forever. So Wayne, on behalf of Phoebe and countless other students, thank you. <laughs>